A drive-by shooting in Withville this morning led to a bullet hitting a house, a manhunt by police, and put three schools on lockdown. Now that safety precaution has since been lifted, and now four men and two women are in police custody. WSLS 10's Rob Manch has the latest details for us tonight. George Wythe High School here is just about a mile from South 16th Street where those shots were fired around 8.30 this morning. No one was hurt, but the high school, Scott Memorial Middle School, and Spiller Elementary all went on lockdown for most of the day to make sure students were safe. Despite a long day of heightened security, students were allowed to leave on time Monday. Superintendent Jeff Perry says with police actively searching for armed suspects in town all morning, the schools took every precaution. We kept kids within the building and did not let them come outside, nor did we uh, let you know, people come inside the building unless we knew that they had a legitimate purpose to do so. Perry says George Wythe worked with police to get students at vocational school back inside the main building. We made sure those students were directly onto the bus and then we navigated the bus with police escort away from the scene that, that's currently involved had a different alternative route for them to go that took them directly away from the situation. So Police are still working out what the motive was for several suspects to fire a gun at this house on South 16th Street, striking it once. Next door neighbor, Carrie Smith, who requested not to be on camera, says she was outside with her son waiting for the bus when the suspects drove by and fired the shots. Perry says the schools are always prepared for dangerous situations, and he's pleased everything operated smoothly. Monday. Fortunately, this is a relatively common event for us in, in, in each of the communities. And the thing that we do is a lot of times probably we go on lockdown simply to be over safe. Those six suspects were apprehended by police in a house on North 26th Street, just a block from George Wythe High School here. The police aren't releasing any of their identities right now. In Wythe County, Rob Manch, WSLS 10.